Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. We're nearing the end of Masechus Bikurim and Seder's Rhyme. <clears throat> Bikurim Perigimel Mishnayas Hey and Vav Mishnah Hey states how Gozolos Shalgabe Hasalim. We learned about his or mitzvah. You're supposed to make the Bikurim very nice, put them in nice fancy baskets. So also you would attach to the basket some birds, apparently be live birds that you plan on offering as carbonos of Olos to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Hayu Olos, that's what the Mishnah said. Gozal Shalgabe Asalem, they were either on top of the baskets or tied behind the baskets. They were Olos, they were meant for Kohanas Olos. Masha Biyadom, whatever was in their hands. I mean, the Bikurim, those in the Kohanim. So the Olos, when Karban Oli, bring on the birds, were uh, given as a Karban to the Mizbeach, as a Karban Ola, and the Bikurim were given to the Kohanim. Vavodeo Asal Al Kseifo. Now, the person bringing the Bikurim still has the basket on his shoulder. Kore, he starts reading the Kriya. We talked about the Kriya. Megad, Yom, Hashem, Lokecha, Ad Shagom, Kol Parsha. If you look in Parsha Kisava, it talks about what he says. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Ad Aram, Yolvid Avi. He says, you only say a, conden- uh, a condensed part of this uh, free, of this Kriya in the Torah. You only say it until Aram, Yolvid Ovid Avi. I guess, and you continue that on the night of Pesach. Higia, <laughs> we don't pass like Rabbi Yehuda. Even according to the Tanakhama, Higia Larami Ovid Avi, you do something different. Morida Salma Al Ksefo, you take the basket off your shoulder, but also Besif Um you hold it by its lips. Now, I don't think it means you hold it by your lips. I think you hold it the lips or the rim of the of the basket. Instead of putting it on your shoulder, you hold it, you know, like you'd hold the rim of a basket. The Kohen places his hands underneath it. Omenifo, the Kore Marami Ovid Avi Ashu Gomer Karl Parsha. And you read from Marami Ovid Avi, right, until the end of the Parsha. Omenifo Besan Mizbeach. When you're done, you leave it on the corner of the Mizbeach, the southwestern corner of Ishtacha Vaviyota. You do Ishtacha Vaya, which, according to the Gemara, really is basically you prostrate yourself entirely on the, the, the floor of the base of Migdash. <clears throat> and do pisha gadayim raglam. Extend your hands and feet. All. And then after you're done, you leave the base of Migdash. And we learned you have to spend the night over there in Yerushalayim. Um, stay tuned for Ion and Mitzion, where I was going to talk about one thing, but I see based on a new chiddush that came to me while I was reading the Mishnayos, a second thing. So maybe I'll give you a bonus for Shabbos. Lecha Mishnah. <laughs> too, too short chiddush from Ion and Mitzion coming up next.